Okay, so I added input controls to this sketch so you can move this ball around. And the next thing I'm going to do is collision handling, so actually not allowing the ball to just pass through things when it detects collision, but have it like move up the slope, for example, or something like that. So how I did this was there's a <clears throat> an input vector, and that also takes into account the camera's position relative to the the ball or the player in order to get it so that when I hit the up arrow, it goes away from the camera, and I hit the down arrow, it goes towards the camera, right and left, all relative to the camera. So just to show you what happens, if I were to take out the camera angle here and only use the input angle, then it would just be fixed. So it works for only one view. So for this view, it works fine. And I'm just using the default orbit control right now to position the camera. Um, but if I move my view, it no longer works. So how I do this is you got to get the angle between the camera and the player. And it's similar to what I talked about in a previous video of just using ATAN2 with the uh, camera and the look at point and just calculating the the angle between the camera and the player, disregarding the Y component, only taking into account the difference, the distance between the camera and the player on the XZ plane. I remember Y is up and down right now. And so then you get this nice, from any angle, it works how you'd expect it to in a game. So that's pretty cool. And I did, uh, I also added a controller support. So you can use, a, right now it only works with an N64 controller, which is what I have, but probably gonna add some more controls, controllers in the future. Um, ideally at some point I would do like a, you know, controller mapping so you could just map any buttons or any keys on the keyboard that you wanted, but that'll be probably a subject of a future video. Uh, yeah, code is in the comments or in the description, and thanks for watching.